Hello everyone, this is Rohan Meshram and today I am here to present uh, to you the Windows version of Gromax. Yes, you have heard it right. You have heard it right. Uh, we are now offering a Gromax on Windows operating system. So this video is meant to tell you as to how you can download it and how you can use it. But before we do that, let me tell you what is that motivated us to develop Windows version of this wonderful software. As a faculty at the Bioinformatics Center at University of Pune, I also work as a visiting faculty in a lot of life sciences department like department of biotechnology, department of microbiology, even at uh, biochemistry and uh, medicinal chemistry. While teaching students there, I realized that there is a very large society of biologists that uses Windows operating system. Currently, Gromax is distributed for Linux operating system. Due to this, this wonderful software has somehow remained deprived from this very large society of researchers that prefer to use Windows operating system. And therefore, we tried to build a binary and an executive file that will help non-computational biology background student to use this software. The objective is to make the biologist life easier, to make installation and using of this software easier and to bring Gromax in general biologist toolbox. So here we present the Windows version of Gromax. You can download the Windows version of uh, this software using uh, this URL. The link to this URL is present in the description box below. You can follow that link and come to uh, this home page. So over here, I will tell you as to how do you download this software, how do you install it and how do you start to use it. The objective of this video is not to teach you how to uh, use Gromax step by step. The objective of this video is to enable you to download this software install it and maybe I will show you how do we use it on command line by executing uh, by executing a few commands Gromax commands. The detailed video on how to use Gromax step by step explaining each step in detail will be posted on this channel. To begin with this is the home page that will enable you to download the executive file of Gromax. On the very first page that you see over here, you can see an image. So this is the protocol uh, or a recipe that we have used to cross this platform barrier and make Gromax available for Windows users as well. In order to download this software, you are supposed to uh, go to this uh, download tab or simply click this download button on the website. Uh, first, you would have to register yourself. You do not have to worry because registrations are free. We are asking this data just to keep tab of the usage of this software and that will help us obtain funding in order to make it more user friendly in the near future. And uh, we will of course not share this data with anyone. So over here, you are just uh, supposed to register yourself. Uh, let us know what is your good name. Uh, let us uh, know what is your email ID. Let us know what is the country that you are working in and what is your affiliation. Once you uh, go ahead uh, with uh, this simple registration form, just hit this submit button. After you hit this submit button, you would be carried on to this page from where you can download uh, respective version of Gromax. So currently, we offer three flavors of Gromax for time being. The very first one, is uh, the version of Gromax that will effectively run on CPU. Uh, just clicking on this link will enable you to download uh, the software. Now if you have installed a good graphics card and uh, have installed graphics accelerator as well, then I would recommend you to use, the, to use this GPU version of Gromax. If you are not sure whether uh, you have a GPU or graphics card, then better go for this CPU, uh, CPU version. 
I will also upload a separate video on configuring your PC to run Grow Max with GPU capabilities and explain you how do you tune your PC to use GPU and maximize the performance of this software. CPU version will work fine on all PCs. So we are also in process to develop a, a simple graphical user interface or a GUI for Gromax. Currently, uh, this is work in progress. After we complete this graphical user interface, the user will be able to set up uh, the simulation and run that simulation in just a few clicks. You would have to keep tuned uh, to this uh, website as well as on this YouTube channel wherein I will later on demonstrate how, uh, how do we use this graphical user interface of Gromax. For time being, you can download the CPU version uh, that I think will work on most of the Windows PC. So let us start out with the CPU version for time being. You will have to click on this link, Gromax CPU. Uh, clicking on this link will initiate the uh, uh, will initiate the download of uh, this software. I have already downloaded downloaded it and it is already present on my desktop. So in your case, uh, it might be present somewhere in the download folder. Now, if it happens that in the next uh, few moments, if the screen blacks out, don't worry, it's just an issue with my screen recorder. It sometimes don't capture the system warning. But you would uh, see those things in your PC when you perform your own installation. Okay, so as usual, you would have uh, to double click this uh, Gromax uh, CPU installer that you have uh, recently downloaded. Uh, that you have recently downloaded okay and uh, you can uh, use uh, you can install this software for all users then just agree to whatever it says okay so the very first dialog box that pops up in your uh, uh, installation process is uh, the one wherein you select the language. So uh, I think English uh, would be the preferred language. Just, uh, just click on this OK button to proceed further. Then uh, the next uh, page that pops up will show you some information and uh, this page is meant uh, to tell you what are the system requirements uh, to run this software. Uh, well, the fact is that we have compiled and built this version of software that will effectively work on Windows 8 operating system and all the versions uh, that are uh, present above Windows 8. So another thing is that you should already have installed uh, this Microsoft Visual C++ 2013 and above before you proceed for this installation. Well, uh, having Windows PC with operating system Windows 8 and above and Microsoft Visual C++ 2013 and above is the basic requirement to run this software on Windows operating system. We would highly recommend that uh, uh, you use this uh, NVIDIA graphics card and CUDA graphics acceleration if you are trying to install the GPU version of this software. If you are using simple CPU version, then it is necessary that you should have this Microsoft Visual C++. It is compulsory. I am currently showing you this demonstration on Windows 8 operating system. This software works very effectively in Windows 10 and above. So we would definitely recommend you that you use Windows 10 at least. Of course, it would also work on Windows 8. We have not tested this software yet on Windows 7 or versions below that. But so far so good. If you install the Microsoft Visual C++ 13 and above, it won't be any kind of problem, I suppose. So. Please let us know if you find any difficulty beyond this system requirement. To uh, continue our installation, just uh, click this next button once you are sure that you have everything that you need. Okay, 
Now, uh, the next uh, page in your setup enables you in selection of the destination location where the software will be installed. This is very important step. By default, Gromax uh, will be installed in a folder program files x86. We need to change this path to simple program files. If you simply proceed without changing the destination to the program uh, to uh, to the program files, this program will uh, not work. Now, to change the destination folder, you need to click on this browse button, and in the resulting dialog box, you are supposed to select this program files. By default, it will install in program files x86 but it is necessary that you install this software in program files instead of program files x86. So make sure that you have selected this program files and then hit OK button. So now you will see that the path where the program is installed has changed from program files x86 to simple program files. Okay, then uh, just proceed further. Click next. Okay, so the next page uh, offers you uh, uh, like uh, uh, where is that uh, the shortcut uh, would be installed, right? So now uh, you can uh, use this by default, it uses this select uh, start menu folder page, okay? Uh, uh, well, uh, just uh, click this next button, right? On this page, you can create a desktop shortcut. If you click on this create desktop shortcut button and just hit next, right? So, uh, all right, uh, we are good for installation. Okay, so uh, clicking on this install button will initiate uh, the installation uh, process on your computer right away. So you would just need a few seconds uh, for this installation. So after the installation is complete, an information uh, page appears. Simply click on this next button. This is the final. Uh, this is the final page in your setup. So uh, congratulations for successful installation. Now you can click on this finish button. You will notice that Gromax has launched itself in the command prompt and now you are ready to use this software. Well say for example, you can follow all the steps that are provided on a lot of tutorials that are present on various websites and YouTube channel. To start out with, I would let you know how do we use it. For using Gromax, you are supposed uh, to provide a keyword like GMX. This will uh, this keyword, like typing GMX, uh, uh, this uh, typing this GMX will enable your operating system to appreciate that uh, you will run Gromax software now. So typing GMX and you can just give command like dash H. Uh, will provide uh, you with help of this Gromax software, right? So uh, you can see that it runs very smoothly and it will give you all the options to run this software, right? Uh, and when everything completes successfully, uh, as uh, you know, there is a quote that is usually provided at the end. This shows that the Gromax has been installed very successfully and it is running really very smooth. You can go on using commands like uh, uh, gmx uh, pdb to gmx. I will just show you. the help uh, document of this gmx pdb to GM, pdb to gmx command it will show you as to how do you uh, use this pdb to gmx command 
what are the different options that are available what is the synopsis of this pdb2 uh, gnx command okay that's it folks here you go you have successfully downloaded this software and install uh, and install it and you can effectively use this software now additionally i would uh, uh, have to uh, i would like to have a disclaimer that in no way we claim to uh, develop gromax software no sir we have not developed gromax our attempt is just to bring this software into windows operating system we have just catalyzed the process of overcoming the platform barrier it is the same old gromax software that you uh, that you might be using for time being so when you use this windows version of gromax i would recommend you that you cite the appropriate gromax paper if you want to reach us you can of course come to our website we have this contact page this is my development team i would like to thank milin and yasas vaja sekra i hope i have pronounced your family name right yasas these two guys are the real hero behind this project over here we have sanjay londe he is the real backbone behind maintaining the website if you want to contact us uh, contact me specifically uh, just hit on this view profile link okay you would be carried on to my personal page okay uh, this is my personal page uh, you can connect me on linkedin linkedin using this link if you want to uh, if you want to contact us you can either email me on this email id you can connect me on linkedin using this particular button send me a friend request on facebook contact me on messenger whatever it takes you can view my lab page uh, uh, for my publication you can check my uh, google scholar profile for my recent publication you can follow me on research gate page to know what is that my lab do and if it happens that you end up in pune just pay us a visit you guys are most welcome to visit us let us know how this software is working in your pc let us know if there are bugs let us know how it can be more efficient in the near future to conclude our objective was to cross the platform barrier and make gromax available to windows user the idea is to enable a general biologist to learn gromax and eventually molecular dynamics simulation this will enable a lot of biologist to understand life processes where motion is involved this will help a lot of biologist in designing of suitable experiment to gain insights at the finer details of protein physiology just go ahead use this software publish your data in good journals get your phd work done and maybe discover new drugs go break some eggs now